Good morning. Welcome to Rise and Shine Yoga. We're going to be starting in about a minute. So get into a position that's comfortable for you. Welcome, my name is Jen. And we're going to be going through some rise and shine together. If you have never been to this class before, welcome. <clears throat> What we do is we go through a nice, relaxing, stretching routine for your morning when you wake up or before bed or as a nice little work place, middle of the day, refresh. So all we're going to do first is take us in a position that is comfortable for you, seated, laying down, standing up, kneeling, whatever you want. And we're going to stay there for about two minutes, breathing nice, big, long, deep breaths, and taking some time to disconnect from what you're already doing this morning or this afternoon or this evening. Take two more deep breaths. And then we're going to all meet on our heels. So we're seated, toes are tucked under, feet are tucked under, sitting on our heels. Now, if you want to stick a pillow under there, by all means, go for it. Your knees can be right underneath your feet, just like yonder. Or if you want to bring your feet a little wide and you want to actually sit with your hips and butt on the ground, that's totally fine too, whatever works best for you. Okay, so first all we're going to do is we're just going to make a little circle with our body and doing heavy hands on the ground for this, it's fine. We're moving at the waist. Everyone's range of motion is going to look a little different, that's fine. Okay. 
and let's switch direction. We're going to come back to the center, and all we're going to do is just lean forward and lean back. One more time each way. And then come to neutral. Bring those hands behind you and then just lift that belly button up towards the sky. Really opening up that chest, really opening up those quads. And release. We're going to do that two more times. So lean back. Open everything up. And release. And again, open it all up. And release. All right, swing those legs around in front. You can have your feet touching the ground, your knees bent. Or you would have them not touching the ground and knees more straight, depending on how your hamstring's feeling this morning, what feels good for you. All right, so let's go through that little circle motion with those waists again. And switch direction. Okay, and then forward and back. And this will probably be a little bit more intense. Nothing crazy. One more time. And then bring those arms behind. Open it all up. Second time, open up. Release. Open up. And release. All right, let's bring those bottoms of the feet to touch each other. <clears throat> Adjust hips as needed. And we're just gonna stay here for about two minutes actually. So if you need to prop anything under, feel free. We're looking at relax those hips. And drop that head and neck and just kind of zoom off a little bit. I'll tell you when we're ready to come on out of the stretch.
hands to the outsides of the thighs, push them on in. And we're gonna lay down on our mat and do a little bit of glute activation work. So I'm gonna turn this way <clears throat> so you can see a little bit better. I'm just gonna lay down like on the ground and just kind of windshield wiper those feet back and forth a little bit. Pick one side and let them drop. Uh, Alright, so what I mean by glute activation is we want to make sure that when we're doing certain exercises in life, when we're doing squats and lunges and things like that, that we're actually using the muscles that we want to work and we're not using other muscles to assist in that matter. So it doesn't have to be come back to the center when you are doing like full on exercises, but it can be just when you're doing a regular going through the motion types of things. So making sure that we're kind of waking up those glutes, we're making sure that those are prime movers and exercises. So all we're gonna do is our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open and close those knees. Keep them open and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's open and close again. Try to have as much of the foot on the ground as possible through this. You're not totally opening up to the edge of your foot. A little movement's fine, but not totally extra, super big movements here. Let's pulse again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring those feet in. Let's go into a bridge. So lifting on up and back down 99% of the way. Your hands can be on your belly or behind your head or on the mat, whatever seems to work well for you. Next time we come up, we're going to pulse. So let's pulse for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up and down all the way. Now, we're going to come up to our elbows and go through that same thing again. So we're starting out with those opening and closing of the knees. So let's go. Let's pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open and close. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna go to reverse table. So we're gonna lift those hips up a little bit and back down. It doesn't have to, we're not going all the way up. We're gonna go all the way up in a little bit, but not now. So we're just bringing in the hips up a little bit off the ground and back down. And we're trying to hold that weight with our entire forearm, not just our elbows. So adjust as you need to, to make it work for you. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, two more. And let's pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 more up and down. For a second, we have one more round to do where we're up nice and tall. So, our here, our hands are here. We're going to be opening and closing and opening and, and going up and down that way. So, take a second. Once we go through this round, we'll have a little break, so don't worry. So, the same thing, adjust. So, if you want your hands pointing out, when your hands pointing in, wherever you want your fingertips is fine, as long as we're holding the weight with our entire palm, not just the base of our palm. All right, so let's open and close. So, And pulse for a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, in and out. Okay, now we're gonna do those hip lifts. We're gonna come up as high as you feel comfortable and 99.9 .9 the way down, percent of the way back down. If you need to touch and take a break, it's not a problem, do so. And if you're like, eh, I'm not feeling this and you wanna come down to your forearms or come down all the way to the ground like we did before, that's totally fine too. All right, so let's go. Two more. And let's pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're really squeezing those glutes. Nine, ten, up and down, final ten. Then we're to break. Squeezing those glutes. Two, one, and release. Beautiful. All right, promise to rest. We're gonna rest. We're gonna lay on our back. We're gonna drop those knees to one side and our hands are just gonna be on our bellies. Big breaths. We're not done with our glute activation, but we're gonna take a rest for a minute.
Okay, switch those legs around. Bring those knees up, grab on, give them a squeeze, and then rock two or three times, and then sit on up. Okay, so we're going to do the same kind of idea, is in three different levels with two different exercises for our donkey kicks and um, little rainbow kicks. So we're going to do the first round standing. We're going to do the second round kneeling, and we're going to do the third round of downward dog. Now, the downward dog one is a little bit of a, a challenge. So, if you start with the downward dog and you're like, I want to drop to my knees, that's fine. If you want to do the same thing all three rounds standing up, that's fine. I'm just going to show you the variations, and then I'm going to pick up which one works best for me. So, if you want to grab some water, this is the perfect time. We're going to stand on up and go somewhere where we have stability and we can hold on to something. So, I'm going to go over to my little shelf over here. So donkey kicks. So we're going to have one knee bent. We're just going to kick straight back. We're going to do 10, pulsing 10. And then we're going to do a big circle or a big half circle all the way to one side, all the way to the other. So we'll only do that one, one time through. So 10 donkey kicks, 10 pulses, 10 donkey kicks, and 10 Arches on one side and the other. Okay? So pick a leg, it doesn't matter which one starts first. Bend that knee, foot is flexed, the toes are pointing towards the ground. Now let's kick back for one. We're not leaning in, we're standing up nice and tall. And let's pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and forward and back. Take a second, bring the leg out to the side, and we're going to arch to one side and arch to the other side. All right, ready? Let's go. One. Shake it out. Same thing. Other side. Bend that knee, toes down. Let's kick back. And pulse. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and in and out. Two more. Relax. All right, take a second. Bring that leg out. We're going up. And over ten times. All right, ready? One, two, three, 
Two more. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to go down to all fours. And feel free, stay standing, just an option. So I'm going to be, I think I'll make forearms. I think that's going to feel more comfortable for me for my wrists. But you can also be here with those arm straights. Totally up to you. And if you decide to start with one and you want to switch to the other, that's fine. Just make sure that your right side and left side end up equal to each other after. So we're going to start with those donkey kicks first, kicking straight up towards the ceiling. All right, you ready? Go. And let's pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and down. I don't know about you, but my stabilizing leg is definitely feeling it. Two more. Reset. We're going to do those rainbows. So bring that leg out. We're going to go up and over just like we did when we were standing. All right, ready? Two more. And release. Relax for a second. You're ready for side two. So stabilizing like really, really is feeling it for me. I wonder, if, was it the same for you? I'd love to know. Okay. Second side, same as the first. Let's go on. Let's pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up and down. Two more. One more. Relax for a second. All right, we're ready to do those rainbows. And that leg out, out to the side, and let's go. Two more. All right, relax. Take a second, grab some water. All right, we have one more round to do, and that's gonna be in downward dog. So I'll demonstrate it in a second. And you can decide which variation you would like to do. So we're gonna be in our downward dog, and I'm gonna try this way because I'm gonna, well, all right, so we're going to be in our downward dog, and we're going to do those kick ups, and then those rainbows on both sides. Obviously, we're going to do them a lot prettier than what I just did, but just as a variation, just to show you, if doing those donkey kicks is too much, and you just want to do a, in your downward dog, more of a straight leg lift, that's fine too. Your routine, your body. 
your practice, your day, all that stuff. And if you decide you want to stay in the downward dog and just take some breaks, that's fine. If you want to start your downward dog and transition to on your knees, that's fine. If you want to start on your knees or go back to the wall, totally fine. Your choice, totally. Um, we'll do this one more time, and then honestly, it's about time to cool back down again. So, fluid activation for the win today. <clears throat> okay, so just make sure that you are positioned enough so you can be in your downward dog and you're not going to hit anything to your right and to your left when we do those rainbows. So, I'm gonna adjust my mat a little bit to make sure that I'm equidistant on both sides between <laughs> object one and object two. And we're going to start. So just go to your downward dog and get comfortable for a second or two first. If you need to pedal out your feet, any of that, any of that business, do so. Okay, so let's pick leg A and one. And pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up and down. 10. Two more. Okay, calm down for a second, reset, shake out those hands, shake out those hips, and then we're going to do the rainbows side to side. And if you want to do the rainbows in a different position, that's fine too. Pick, pick and choose. All right, let's go one. release. One more round through on the other side. And we'll admit this is a little much for a morning practice, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to challenge yourself just a little bit and we can always pull back. But if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you're like, eh, you know what? I've been doing this a while. I've been coming to yoga for a year in the mornings. Let's try it a little bit. Every once in a while, it's good to just kind of throw a little challenge in there. But after we do this challenge, we cool it down. All right, so first going into the downward dog and doing those donkey kicks. <laughs> so get yourself situated. Other leg, and let's go for one. Let's pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up and down. Those pulses really get me. Two more. One more, and reset. <sighs> Two breaths. <sighs> Rainbows. <clears throat> I got to the side, and let's go.
last two. Last one. And beautiful. Oh, awesome work. Sit whoever's comfortable for you. And I promise we're done. All right, get your hair out of your face and let's roll the shoulders back. And I'm doing a little forward motion too. That feels good. If you're in a position that doesn't allow it, that's fine. I'm going to switch directions with my shoulders. Okay, I'm going to bring the one arm across and I'm going to move around with that wrist. Pat on the back and lift the elbow up there's nice and high. All right, release other side, bring that arm across, wrist movements. And pat yourself on the back and lift that elbow. Bring one arm in front and make a fist and pull it down. Other side, make a fist and pull it down. Really smile, just. Other side. Come back to the center, roll onto your stomach. I'm going to face this way just so you can see, but feel free to please stay on your mat. I'm just going to bend those knees and windshield wiper them side to side. Massaging out those claws a little bit. And then kick aside and let them hang. Come back to the middle, grab one leg, straighten the other. Let's push 
push them up, reset. Other side, arm up through the hole here on the ground. into your Shavasana. So, get yourself all comfy. Traditionally, your shavasana is on your back with your elbows tucked to your side, arms, palms facing up, shoulder blades tucked under, feet pointed up, or just kind of flopped out to the side. However, this is your practice, so if there's a different position that you want to be in for your kind of final relaxation component, feel free to do so. All right, we have about two minutes. is officially over, but I invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you would like. I'd love to know what your thoughts were about our glute activation exercises today. We'll do more of the traditional stuff on Thursday. I just want to change it up every once in a while. Have a great day.